Hey everyone, I'm Michael. I'm the customer success lead at Xano. And this video, I want to cover background tasks, otherwise maybe known as cron jobs. But here in Xano, we call them background tasks. So what is a background task or a cron job? It's basically some kind of task or function that you can set to be performed uh, in the background, either to set it on a schedule to occur uh, one time or to have a recurring frequency. So with Xano, um, the plans that have background tasks include the business, prototype, and essential plan. They have unlimited background tasks and unlimited choices for frequency. Starter plan comes with one background task uh, and limited frequencies. So let's go ahead and look at uh, background task over here in my library. You can find it right at the bottom. And you see I have one already set up here. And if I go ahead and click into this background task, you'll see that it has the same uh, workflow, if you will, as uh, an API endpoint in the sense that it has just this function stack where you can define your logic and take advantage of all the different functions uh, within Xano to perform whatever you need to do. Uh, however, what's different is we have step two here, which is timing. Um, so you can actually open up this timing here you can choose when this background task or cron job is going to start. You can set it to happen once. I have it right now to repeat. And then you can choose the frequency. And as you can see, we have as granular as every minute up to every four weeks. And then you can choose if you want this background task or cron job to end. Um, I have it never, so it is always ongoing. So in this example, what I have set up is I have just a personal to-do list. So I use the to-do list starter template from Xano. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we just have this to do table here. And you can see I have different tasks, whether they were uh, completed or not, whether they're important, and a reminder. Okay, so what I've also done is I've gone to the marketplace and installed the SendGrid uh, SendMail extension so that once this reminder um, time comes up, I can get an email notification. Uh, from SendGrid. So if we jump to my task uh, and look at this logic I created for this background task, you can see here, first I'm querying all my records in my to-do list. I'm doing a simple filter here. Um, all I'm saying is that this uh, to-do does not have that true Boolean for completed. And also here in this and group, uh, the reminder is either greater than or equal to now or that timestamp is less than now plus one minute. So I only wanna get reminded if that reminder is within that same minute as this background task is being performed. And that's because I am uh, executing this cron job or background task every single minute. Okay, so once I get that, I'm going to loop through all those records. I'll probably typically only have one, um, but in this example, I have three set to go off at the same time. Um, and then I'm just going to use the uh, send grid basic send here. Uh, I'm just going to send it to myself. Remember, this is a personal to do. Uh, the subject, I'll put new reminder. And in the body, I'm just looping through uh, the actual task description for my to do table. So it's going to send me a single email uh, per reminder so that I'll be reminded uh, to do all this. Uh, so my tasks are going to actually send in just a few minutes. Um, one other thing I want to show you is uh, a lot of people like to uh, build their task logic in a custom function first. So if we jump to uh, functions over here, I've created that same logic in a custom function uh, as that background task or cron job right here. As you can see, I'm getting my to-do reminders, I'm looping through them, and I'm sending myself an email notification. I don't really need a response here. But what we can do is we can first build it in a function, and then if we want to add a new task, and we'll just call this um, new right here and hit save, then what I can do in the function stack is I can simply just hit this custom function and just simply insert all that logic in as one single line, and I don't have any inputs here. Um, and I'll just hit save. And then I could go ahead and go about my timing. I could have it set to happen one time, but because this is a reminder app, I'd wanna do this repeating, uh, something like every minute, because I'm in granular with my reminders for every minute and maybe never repeat it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna um, hit save here, but I'm actually gonna go to settings and um, not activate this one because that other one is active and otherwise I'll get twice the emails. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and wait a couple minutes and then we'll go ahead and look at my inbox uh, to see this task ran correctly. Okay, so I had my video pause for a couple seconds. Um, it's now time for my reminder, so let's go ahead and look at my inbox. I'll just go ahead and hit refresh. And you can see we have our three new reminders here um, that were just taken from my Xano database, um, from my background task, and was able to send me an email notification. So there you have it. Um, another couple things just to point out about background task. If I go into this task, I can actually um, open up the task history of the last 10 and um, just see when they were executed, um, if there were any issues, uh, maybe there was a failure because your logic was wrong, etc. cetera. Um, you can also run and debug these background task or cron jobs right here while you're building them to manually run them. And then um, if I go back, it'll just show you the last time that it actually ran and if it was active. So there you have it. I hope this video on Xano's background task or task or cron jobs was helpful. Uh, if you like this content, please like the video and subscribe to our Xano YouTube channel. Uh, it helps other people uh, find these videos who might also think they are helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.